It is an international and major Buddhist pilgrimage center, the place where Lord Buddha gave his last sermon, the place where Gautam Buddha achieved Magha Pari Nirvana. This is the place where Buddhist disciples from different countries have temples dedicated to Buddha. Today we are going to Kushinagar. Kushinagar is a beautiful town situated 53 kilometers east of Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh. The archaeological findings show that the town dates back to the 3rd century BC. It is said to be associated with Emperor Ashoka. This site was abandoned by Buddhist monks around 1200 CE, who fled to escape the invading Muslim army, after which the site decayed during the Islamic rule in India that followed. Modern Kushinagar came into prominence in the 19th century due to a series of archaeological excavations. Kushinagar today is a major pilgrimage center for the Buddhists in India. The city is also mentioned in the writings of the Chinese traveler and pilgrim Hyunsang. Kushinagar offers many stunning and splendid tourist attractions. Let's roam around this spiritual and historical landmark and let me show you what all you can do in Kushinagar. First is Nirvana Temple and Stupa Complex. This complex houses the Nirvana or Mahapari Nirvana Temple and the Mahapari Nirvana Stupa. This complex is carved from Chunar sandstone and is considered a sacred place for Buddhist devotees. The temple is home to the famous statue of the reclining Buddha. It represents the dying Buddha. The statue is 6.10 meters long and is made of monolith red sandstone. The image of a reclining Buddha resting on his right side with his face towards the west probably indicates the sunset of his life. This is one of the highest shrines in India. It is believed that Buddha attained Pari Nirvana here. That means he abandoned his mortal body and moved on to the other side of this perishable world for a higher spiritual journey. I was surprised to see that the Ashoka Chakra has been inscripted on the feet of Lord Buddha over here. The main stupa that stands next to the Mahanirvana temple is raised on a circular base and crowned with a dome on the top. The cremated remains of Buddha are buried here. This makes it one of the most pious Buddhist religious centers. In the garden area, you can find a huge metal bell, which is an exciting sight to behold. The sound this bell produces has a very soothing effect as well. Just listen to the sound. Just like a singing bowl. You can also watch the historical importance and the detail of Kushinagar Temple through the stories written on the walls as well as on the video played in the AV room in this complex. Next most visited place in Kushinagar is Mata Kaur Shrine. The ancient Buddhist shrine is situated just outside the Pari Nirvana Stupa complex in Kushinagar. After paying a visit to the interpretation center, we are at Matha Kuvar Shrine, which is a pretty walkable distance from the center. It is one of the oldest shrines in Kushinagar and among the must-visit religious places. Mata Kaur Shrine is believed to be the place where Lord Buddha gave his last sermon before he died and thus it is considered a very pious place by the Buddhists. The temple houses a colossal statue of Buddha. The statue was found by Carlyle in the course of excavations in 1876. This is one of the oldest and most visited shrines of Kushinagar. The idol of Buddha is built out of a single block of bluestone. The statue of Buddha retains the Bhumi Sparsha Mudra, which is a depiction of the last few moments of his life just before he attained Nirvana. 
It is believed that he invoked the earth to testify to the pious acts performed by him in his previous incarnations. The statue also bears an inscription that indicates the date of its construction to the 10th or 11th century. Next is the very beautiful Wat Thai Temple. Just look at this architectural marvel. It is one of the most visited temples in Kushinagar. The temple, built in the Thai Buddhist architectural style, is located in a huge complex sprawling over an area of 10 acres. It is built by the disciples of Buddha from Thailand to celebrate the golden jubilee of King Bhumi Bol Adulyadej's accession to the throne of his country. It is one of the most beautiful tourist destinations in Kushinagar and is visited particularly by thousands of pilgrims from Thailand every year. Now comes Ramabhar Stupa. At a distance of 4 kilometers from the Kushinagar bus station, Ramabhar Stupa is a must visit. Ramabhar Stupa is a famous Buddhist monument in Kushinagar. Situated near Buddha Ghat, Ramabhar Stupa holds a great religious significance to Buddhists all over the world, as it is said that this is the exact spot where Lord Buddha was cremated in 483 BC. It was here where Lord Buddha's last rites were performed. The circular drum of this stupa has a diameter of 34.14 meters at the top and 47.24 meters at the bottom. There is also a pond-like water body close to it. The stupa is made out of bricks and is 14.9 meters high. In ancient Buddhist texts, this stupa has been referred to as Mukut Bandhan Chaitya or Mukta Bandhan Vihara. Next in line is Sri Lankan Japanese Temple. We are at the Japan Sri Lanka Buddhist Center. This holy place attracts a number of tourists from all around the globe. The Atago Ishin World Buddhist Cultural Association has built this temple, which was generously funded by the Japanese monarchy. The temple has a singular circular chamber, which houses a golden image of Lord Buddha. The image is softly lit through a small stained glass window that makes it a beautiful sight. The most enchanting thing here is a magnificent Ashtadhatu or eight metal statue of Lord Buddha. People from all over the world flock in here to get a glimpse of this statue. Guruji, tell us about this temple. This temple was built in 1984. It was built in the garden. It was built in the temple for three years. A engineer came to the Japan and built it. There are all pictures. आप हमें अब अपने बारे में कुछ बताइए आप यहाँ कब से हैं? हम ये मंदिर बनाया है 1984 में पेबरोरी 28 पेबरोरी को इस मंदिर का उद्घाटन हुआ इसके बाद इस मंदिर को जापान जो स्तू बना करके श्रीलंका को हैंडओवर किया है श्रीलंका हमारे गुरुजी को हैंडओवर किया है इसके बाद 1984 में हम ही � स्तूप काली रहा स्वाद ये गार्डन वगैरह कुछ नहीं था तब हमने इतना मेहनत करके इतना सुंदर बनाया। I'd also like the audience to know that he is a one-man army over here, which means he manages the entire area himself. The first temple to greet you on your way to Kushinagar is the Vietnam Chinese Buddhist Temple. This is a combination of the Chinese temple on the ground floor and the Vietnam temple on the first floor.
This two-storied building is built in Chinese style and gets its vibe by many images of dragons and laughing Buddha embellishing it with Chinese charm. The temple complex also features replicas of the shrine at the four important Buddhist pilgrimage sites Lumbini, Bodh Gaya, Sarnath and Kushinagar. In addition to these, there is a replica of a Buddhist temple in Vietnam. This temple also has lotus ponds which serve as one of its main attractions. Next is the Burmese Myanmar Temple. This Myanmar Buddhist monastery was the first international monastery in the holy land of Buddha's Nirvana place. The main temple was reconstructed and the Burmese monastery was formed with the construction of Burmese temple in 1898 for the devotees of Buddha. The monastery attracts tourists from around the globe for its beautiful Buddha temple equipped with antique statues. This concludes our trip to the fascinating town of Kushinagar. This place has a different kind of charm to it. Kushinagar is a highly recommended tourist destination. You really, really have to visit this place. So, do plan your trip to Kushinagar soon and let us know about your experience in the comment section. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such insightful videos. Hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to TGF and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications.